What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to write Google ads for your ad groups and your campaigns that completely dominate your co your competitors. And the reason that they dominate your competitors is because we're gonna go look at the competitors and we're gonna write better ad copy than them. Very simple, very effective. All right, so we're in our uh, demo AdWords account here and you're looking at our party bus campaigns, what we're gonna be doing today. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and assume you have a high intent ad group and I actually don't for this campaign. So we're going to make one real quick. So I'm actually just going to turn party bus generic ad group into party bus rentals. So just hang with me for a minute because this, the, the, uh, the ad copy doesn't work if your ad groups are not dialed in with high intent keywords. So we want to get rid of all this random mess of things. All right, so let's just go back to basics here. We're only going to do exact match for this. Party bus rentals. Now this should pull up a list of different party bus type rental keywords. Hopefully if my internet doesn't choke out. Okay, party bus rental, we have that. Rentals near me. Prices, I would put in another ad group. Local party bus rentals, that's a good one. Nice high intent. Party bus rental costs, I like that one. Now remember, we're building these ad groups with high intent keywords. We only want people who are looking specifically to rent a party bus, okay? So I want the words party bus rental in the keyword because that's going to be extremely important when it comes to writing our ad copy because we want people to just call and Get pricing and stuff like that. Party bus rental prices. You know what? Maybe we should just throw prices in here. Why not? We'll see how it does. All right. So let's just say this is our ad group. So we got our nice high intent keywords. So we know the traffic coming to these ads is going to be on point. It's going to be people who have an urgent need to find out pricing or rent a party bus. So the next step, we have to do the ads. So we come up here to ads. And I already have a bunch in here, but these are probably from other demo stuff we did. So let's just copy one of these and we'll edit. All right, so we're gonna create the ad from scratch here. So party bus rentals. Oh, I'm sorry, first thing we gotta do is actually, we gotta get out of here. We gotta go we got to go to Google and we're going to do part. We're going to search our competition. So let's see what everyone else is doing first. There we go. That's pretty good. We have the perfect vehicle to suit your needs. Call us today. I like that. So we're kind of just, what we're doing right now is we're kind of just looking around and just seeing what, what the competition is the local competition in your area is doing for their ads, just so we know what we have to beat. So this is all really just basic stuff. So the intent of our keywords, if we go back into our campaign, let's find that right here. The intent of our keywords is people looking to ride a party bus, all right? So they're, they're obviously searching out, most likely on their phone if we're running a mobile campaign, which is what we usually, the only types of campaigns we run. So they, they're, we want click to call, all right? So let's just say, need a party bus. This will be our ad one. Choose from over a dozen buses, I like that. Call right now for a quote. Call right now for prices. Let's do that. So we're calling them out. Remember our high intent keywords. We know they need a party bus. We need a party bus. We know they're looking for prices. Call right now for prices. And now we're giving them variety. Choose from over a dozen buses. And here we're going to work in our keyword. San Diego. So we're in Philadelphia. So let's do... Philadelphia is the number one party bus rental service. 
20 to 50 person buses available. Call now to schedule this fit. Ah. Let's get rid of this. 20 to 50 person buses available. Call now to schedule. All right, so what else can we pop in here and add? Let's go back out. Let's see what we got going on with the competition. Pretty good. Let's try a different keyword. Not bad, not bad. These are more of the generic stuff now. Here we go. Nope. All right. So there really isn't much competition, surprisingly. Let's see what Bing's got for us. See, this guy put his pricing in the actual ad. That's a ballsy maneuver. Because that could either be a good thing or it could spook people away. And as soon as they see that number, they're out. They're not clicking on your ad. Which maybe they want that to happen. It depends. Yeah, these are all pretty generic. All right, so let's go back in here. Party bus rentals. <laughs> let's do rent. 20 to 50 person buses available. Call now to schedule your night out appointments. Fill fast. Book. Ah, it's not going to fit. Book now. Let's get rid of this. Call to schedule. 20 to 50 person buses available. Call to schedule your night out. Appointments fill fast, book now. We service Philadelphia and surrounding counties. Do something like that. So need a party bus, call right now for prices. Choose from over a dozen buses. 20 to 50 person buses available. Call to schedule your night out. Appointments fill fast. Book now. Okay, so we're getting a little urgency there. We, then we're telling them again the location that we service. We service Philadelphia and surrounding counties. And then we should put something like, uh, let's save this first. Let's go pop back into our other ads see what we can pull from there. Ooh, I like this. So let's take this too. This is a good one, especially considering the people we're going after. Let's see if it'll fit or if we can make it fit in here somewhere. Lowest rates and instant phone quote. So what this is telling them is that all they got to do is click the ad or call, click the call button and we can solve their their issue with the quote like they're looking for a price we're going to just click this button and we'll give it to you lowest rates and instant phone quotes we service philadelphia and surrounding counties or we could do surrounding areas counties are pretty big we service philadelphia and surrounding areas save ad okay so now we have our our first ad that we got and we based it off of what our competition is doing oop just clicked it on accident So we have our first ad, we got it based, we were looking at what our competition was up to and we just, all we have to do is just do a better job. That's, that's pretty much it. So we got that and I'll see if we can pull anything else from any of these other ads in here. That's pretty good. So what I would do next, I would just do this, copy and edit. So we're basically just cloning the ad we just made and we're just gonna swap a few things out. So need a party bus, uh, I, should, I should say, for each ad group you're running, you should be running three to four ads, all right? Usually two text ads and one responsive search ad. And we can go through and do one of those after this, but I'm just uh, trying to 
watch i'm just letting you guys like, watch me how how my mindset is when i'm creating these ads so, all right so our first this is our first ad need a party bus all right so we already know they need a party bus so we're going to change this call to action up let's do affordable party bus rentals call right now actually you know what call for over the phone prices I like that call for over the phone prices choose some over a dozen buses I do I do like that but we probably should change that up to something else 20 to 50 person party buses available Really prof professional. Sorry, guys, my spelling is awful. So we gotta fix that. If it lets me fix it, it's not let me do that. There we go. Twenty to fifty person party buses available. Professional sh chauffeurs. Professional chauffeurs. Uh, we don't want to repeat affordable because we've already done that. 20 to 50 person party bus is available. Professional chauffeurs. Call now to book your bus. Okay, that fits. That looks good. Lowest rates and instant phone quotes. We service Philadelphia and surrounding areas. So I'm going to switch this up because we're kind of already talking about phone quotes up over the phone pricing up here and just do something else like maybe do the uh, call to book yours. There we go. All right, let's see what we got here. Affordable party bus rentals, call for over the phone prices. I like that. Choose from over a dozen buses. Party bus rentals, rental service. Switch that up a little bit. 20 to 50 person party buses available. Professional chauffeurs, call now to book your bus. We service Philadelphia and surrounding areas. Appointments fill fast, call to book yours. All right, so that kind of seems repetitive. So maybe we should change up this here to instead of call now to book your bus, we'll do something like professional chauffeurs for and then do like night out, wedding, uh, party, whatever. I don't know. You, you would just have to Google and find all the different things that. Uh, people use party buses for so like corporate events stuff like that 20 to 50 person party buses available professional chauffeurs for night out wedding so we're not wedding really let's get rid of that party birthday parties birthday still too long 20 okay. so let's get rid of party there we go 20, 50 person buses available. Professional chauffeurs for night out, birthday. Night out, birthday. All right. So you might want to shorten that up, but like I said, if we're doing four ads, we have plenty of time to work in all that stuff. So there we go. Now we got two ads. We would just do two more. I would do one, uh, actually one more I would do, and I would do a responsive search ad. So if you don't know what that is, come up here, responsive search ad. And it's kind of like, Google's algorithm is going to, you're going to fill all of these out till it tells you you can't fill out any more of it. And Google's going to use its algorithm and it's going to show your ads in the best converting and highest click through rate, stuff like that. Google's going to show those ads more and more. And uh, basically, it's going to find the best combination of all of your headlines and descriptions. And it's only going to show those ads once it's dialed in. <clears throat> so we don't really have anything here. So I'm not really going to go through this because then I have to come up with all these headlines, but you can see here. That's somebody you're going to get. So obviously you want each one to be more, a little bit more unique than the last. So you just want to keep filling these out so you have all of them filled out. 
and then you would just hit save and that's it. And you same with your descriptions. You want to mix them up. And that's pretty much it, guys. There's not really much magic to creating ads that beat your competition because what we're doing is just going and seeing what our competition is doing in your local market. And we're like, okay, so here's their call to action. Here's this and that. All we got to do is do a little bit better. So if, you're, if your ad groups and your keywords are high intent and dialed in, and then we just make our ads high intent and dialed in, then that's going to make the rest work. Okay, so that's going to make the conversion rates. This is how you're going to get the 30 to 40 percent conversion rates, is because your message match straight across the whole marketing funnel is exactly the same. Okay, I'm searching Google. I need a party bus. I'm seeing an ad on my phone that says "click the call for pricing for a party bus." I'm going to I'm going to call or I'm going to go on a website. Go to the website. And the website's telling me, "Hey, call for pricing." It, you know what I mean? It's it's pretty simple. But you gotta obviously, if I had more time, I would be a little bit more in depth. But you want three to four ads per ad group so obviously I would pause all these but this is just an example campaign ad group so I would pause all these and I would take my two new ads I'd make one responsive search ad and I would just like deck it out with with headlines and different descriptions and stuff like that and um, just make sure your call to actions are on point and, and you can't lose really that's pretty much it so if you have any comments or questions or anything like that drop them below this video I'd love to dive in there and answer them for you don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We drop uh, how-to training like this constantly. And check out the uh, description in the video. I will put a link in there for our free ebook, Five Quick Hacks to Increase Your AdWords ROI.